Yo, what is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to look in detail at a 29 kill win by Fortnite Pro Marius in the recent solo cash cup finals to teach you how you can W key just like a pro. I'm going to look at each fight in detail throughout the game, showing you the strategies these pros use to win every fight quickly and easily. If you do enjoy, please do drop a like and subscribe for much more similar content coming soon, just like this. Now, just quickly, before we get into any fights, I want to note that Marius has the best drop. He is the first player to land and immediately he can look to deal damage onto his opponent. And this is just from using a drop map. And again, Marius is at the dog pound here, so he knows he's likely to be contested by pretty good players. So he knows that he has to end fights quickly at this POI. For the first three kills off spawn, Marius just catches players that are off guard and not really paying attention. So there's nothing notable to look at here. So looking at Marius' first mid-game fight, immediately as he sets up onto this opponent's wall, there's something notable that happens right here. Notice how Marius actually leaves this top wall free right here because he expects that this enemy is then going to make an open edit. As he does, Marius has sightlines down onto the opponent and gets an easy tag for at least 100 damage. And if we switch back to Marius' POV here, we know that he immediately looks to apply pressure with the rapid fire SMG due to its fast fire rate. Notice here how Marius doesn't actually run through the opponent's builds and instead backs himself back up because if he runs through his opponent's build right here the opponent has all the edits and could look to easily piece control up marius now as marius follows the fight what he does here is he immediately drops onto his opponent's wall and he tries to pressure with the rapid fire smg because he knows the opponent has already made one open edit on him which allowed marius to get this initial damage and he's going to make another one so the second he open edits marius immediately plates a wall to drop uh, to block sorry the opponent's shot once that shot is blocked the opponent then has shotgun delay so he can't shoot marius has him pieced up easy elimination so in this next fight, Marius gets keyed, but I want you guys to look at how important and how well Marius uses the rapid fire, not only in this fight, but throughout the game. He immediately gets opening damage onto the opponent before even the opponent has had a chance to shoot him back. So Marius is now going into this fight with a 70 health advantage. Now I do want to note that this opponent is pretty low skill and he, Marius catches him off guard with an easy top row edit. But from there, all Marius does is looks to pressure with the rapid fire SMG and the opponent panics. And the opponent's only panics because he started the, uh, the fight sorry, with less health than Marius due to Marius pressuring with the rapid fire SMG. Here we see Marius fighting an opponent which has clearly made two boxes, but the way in which Marius sets up on the wall is he opens this right hand bottom side four tile edit, and this allows him to spray pressure onto the opponent's wall with the rapid fire SMG whilst hiding behind a right hand peak. It doesn't actually end up amounting to anything, but that is a smart setup there from Marius. Then from here, Marius continues to apply pressure onto him with the rapid fire SMG throughout the whole time following with the grappler, and Marius knows at this point he has the health advantage onto the opponent, so he looks to get in just with the rapid fire SMG. G. Notice how with this box the opponent couldn't heal neither here and when he finally stops to try and pop a big pot, Marius is always there, capitalises on the opportunity. The good thing that Marius does is uses the rapid fire to not allow the opponent any time to pick up any opportunity to heal. This fight is a pretty small thing that Marius does, but notice how he constantly uses the rapid fire SMG to keep constant pressure onto his opponent. Like when the opponent boxes up loads, he jumps in using the rapid fire SMG's fast fire rate and just catches the opponent off guard and then continually uses the rapid fire SMG to pressure through the wall and pick up a free elimination. So in this situation, Marius has got his opponent really weak, but he's also pretty weak as well, being only one shot to a pump. So right here, instead of popping a med kit, which he could use where the opponent does pop a med kit, Marius chooses to use minis. And this means that in just four seconds, Marius has gained 50 shield, whilst the opponent has only gained about 15 health. Minis are really fast healing, so they're a really good way of just picking up easy healing quick during a fight. Now, as Marius sees that the opponent makes the wide open edit here, he sets up the Martos peak, which again is really smart and is able to just pick off the opponent straight through the Martos peak. This edit is a really good play with the floor and the stair to pick off an easy kill, and it's a nice protected peak where the opponent can't deal damage back onto you. Now, up until now, most players that Marius face haven't been really that defensive, but when he fights Lays right here, Lays immediately pulls off the snail technique that I talk about in my videos, which is the 2x2 two two boxes in an attempt to slow down the fight. Now, Marius realizes this and immediately fires the rapid fire SMG and replaces the wall, knowing that Lays wasn't focused and catches him off guard, again getting the opening damage in the fight, which is a feature massively of Marius's game. Now, notice here how he just uses the rapid fire SMG to keep constant pressure on the opponent. The reason why Marius is playing so close to the opponent here is because he's looking for bleed damage with the rapid fire smg and as you'll continue to see this is the main uh, portion that goes through this entire fight he eventually gets the bleed damage he's after and gets the opponent down to only about 80 hp now marius knows that he can just play on the opponent's wall because he's 100 100 he can't physically get one pump and he can keep dealing bleed damage to the opponent and the opponent is eventually going to down uh, going to go down sorry and that's why we see marius jump in because he knows that he has the health advantage he literally cannot use the fight the opponent can only max him for like 185. 
Now, in this fight, I want you guys to pay attention to how many times Marius actually fires his shotgun. I think it's only once, but I could be wrong. He immediately jumps in using the momentum phase with the rapid fire SMG, and he fires his shotgun once here, which literally does nothing. He then gets bleed damage onto the opponent right there with the rapid fire SMG, and from this point onwards, all he does is just spray with the SMG. Now, while this may look really unskillful and done, what, uh, dumb, sorry, what he's actually doing is just keeping constant pressure onto the opponent, so the opponent has no time to pop the minis, which he's trying to pop. And this just allows Marius to eventually um, get bleed damage through and kill them. It may look really stupid, and I know it's weird to commentate over, but all Marius is doing here is just playing to the meta. He gets another bit of bleed damage through, and he just continually sprays in another bit of bleed damage, and eventually the opponent is in his box, and he finally uses his shotgun to pick off the kill. But when he does use his shotgun, the opponent is literally 5 HP because Marius has used the SMG to bleed damage the entire fight. I mean, this is another example of Marius just using the rapid fire SMG to bleed damage, gets the initial 60 tag, times his momentum phasing, gets inside the box and just picks up a free kill. The rapid fire SMG is so OP. As the grappler is the main form of mobility this season, Marius uses it quite well. As he grapples up to height here, it's important to know that immediately one of the biggest risks when grappling up to height is that you leave yourself open for a shot from the opponent. As you guys can see, Frankowski is immediately looking for a tag on Marius right here. So as Marius is flying up, he gets the initial tag and then what he immediately does is blocks walls and floors to block the opponent getting a shot back off him. So because of this, Frankowski now has no way that he can shoot Marius because he's trying to, but he's blocked by a wall and a floor. From there, Marius knows that the opponent is really weak so of course he just pulls out the rapid fire smg this causes the opponent's panic and marius can pick off another free elim in this fight, it's important to look at how Marius is set up. Notice how he's playing two boxes away from his opponent. We got a box hit and then the box that the opponent is. And this means that it's just hard for Pandoran to try and piece up Marius because he keeps pressuring forwards and he's constantly playing two boxes away. Notice how Pandoran extends. Marius plays from another box away. Instead of luring into this box right here, Marius stays a box away from Pandoran. Now, he does make this mistake right here because he leaves that edit open and that allows Marius to get tagged up a little bit. But instead of going back to Hill, Marius immediately looks to deal opposing damage back with the pump. Now what's important here is that Marius can already read this player and he knows that this player likes to open edits because he opened this wall edit right here to try and tag Marius. So immediately we look to deal some bleed damage with the SMG and you guys can see just how much of a deal that has had. The opponent is now down to only 40 HP and Marius has been clever not to jump in on the opponent just yet but because we have the health advantage we know that all we have to do is jump in the opponent's face and pick off the easy elim. It's end game now and again we see an example of Marius grappling up to height. So like he did earlier in the game, he grapples up to the height and the player is unaware, allowing Marius to get that opening damage which he has had in every single fight I've shown you guys so far in today's video. From there, he constantly looks to try and gain the health advantage onto the opponent and looks to get bleed damage with the SMG. Like we see, he breaks him out due to the fast fire rate. The opponent is not expecting it. Marius knows he's 100-100, the opponent can't one-shot him and he picks up a free elim. The key to Marius' gameplay this game has been getting that initial opening damage onto the opponent and then just pressuring them with the rapid fire SMG in order to make them panic and pick off every single elim. So obviously this is the final fight, but there's also stuff we can learn from this because it's the key 1v1 at the end of the game. Notice how Marius' opponent's hit is about two tiles above him, and Marius does some really nice peaks here, which is when you are below an opponent, you can always look if you feel they are over peaking to try and get a jump shot up onto your opponent, like he tries there, but he realizes it's blocked. He finally gets a jump shot and gets a bit of chip damage onto the opponent's shield, and then does the same play again to get more chip damage. From here, Marius sees that the opponent is one tile above him, and then just simply sets up the Martos peak that he used earlier in the game to to get the free elim onto the opponent and pick up the hundred dollars three really good peaks there that he used all in a row to allow him to win this game and win a hundred dollars of earnings what we can learn from this is that despite marius being clearly very mechanical what he did was he just played smart to the meta and used a combination of the rapid fire smg and gaining the health advantage to just overpower every single opponent he faced now you know how to w key like a pro click this video on screen to actually learn how to improve your fighting this season peace out from me